Okay, 1823, good luck. So we've not played before, nor had Ted score. Nearly 10,000 games for our opponent, that's really good. Nearly 6,000 in our blitz as well. Um, actually, let's do the more fashionable E3 these days. So we'll just transpose a little bit. Go pawn up. So we're probably not going to do this. We still could, but probably not. Let's take there and bishop up. you just got to watch out for ideas like the queen up when you're playing these lines. Well, that might give us a development move because we can attack the queen. See where the queen's going to go. It goes back. So probably just bishop up here in castle. I think it makes sense. We could charge for the center. <clears throat> Actually, it probably makes sense, but I'll just make sure I can castle first. But I think I'm going to play d4. I want to play d4 just so we don't end up with a backward pawn. It takes, obviously we can go either way. Queen trade would be probably good for us in this position. Knight comes up. So what do I want to do? I actually like the idea of taking there. Okay, now I'm going to castle. So do we get a chance to come through at some point? That's what we'll be looking at. Not easy otherwise to create anything. Actually, that's not pre-move because we've got two rooks we could take with. If the queen's off the board, the f2 square is a little bit better guarded. That gives us knight across, and it also opens this up. So that's probably a mistake, but we might be better taking the knight. Let's just see. Or take the bishop, then the knight. Depends where the queen ends up here. So have we any trick? I think we've got bishop up, and I don't see how you guard your bishop. Oh, bishop up. You just move the bishop, don't you? Of course you do. Bishop up, you simply move the bishop, but we can take, but we can take the knight as well off both of them. I think we'll take this first and then the knight. Yeah, I'm not going to get a trick here, so I'm just going to take the knight and try and open the defences. Now the rook can come across, so it might prove to be a mistake in the longer run, but we'll get another development move. We might try some sort of rook lift, I'm not sure yet. Queen up would be good if the queen wanders off somewhere and allows us to d6 with a view to coming back, and does. At the expense of a pawn, though. Um, so is that worth doing? So queen up takes check. Just pushes you over to the corner, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm looking at knight up then to hit the knight. Take, 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 take. I'm just going to play knight across and challenge the knight. If take, I'll go with the queen and hit the f6 pawn. We may be playing this a tad bit too fast out of the opening here. Obviously, we have got a couple of pawns loose as well, but we're going after the king. Idea is to try and take and then lift the rook across. Just very simple. Okay, so what if we play a rook up now? And if the queen wanders off, we've got an immediate threat, right? There is a potential to tempt black, but as soon as our queen moves, we've got a pin threat. The king's going to naturally move to allow the rook over, though. Okay, so that's a potentially good move there. Hmm. I don't want to go here, do I? Oh, mind you, I can go here and double attack the pawn, so that could be good for us. We hit the queen and we hit the pawn. we just got to watch out for where the queen lands up now. I don't see any way for you to go and attack our bishop, so we might be able to take here next. Oh, it comes forward. Can we just ignore that? I don't think we can. It could be a good move, that. Okay, so gain a pawn, lose a queen, gain a queen, lose a rook is no good. We can't go here now. That's a bit of a problem now. So I think we come across, we attack the rook. If rook here, maybe we can then take, but bishop down, bishop down. Obviously, I'm trying to cover this potential threat as well. Right now, I've got queen back or bishop up. So if we grab a pawn, bishop down, we gain a rook, lose a bishop, gain a rook looks fine. And we gain, if we lose a rook, we gain the pawn, that looks fine as well. I think we're still covering so I think we're okay to take and grab a pawn. 
But as soon as the king shuffles and the rook comes across, it's dangerous. We're going to have to push. The bishop might get active. So it's a dangerous position, this. We could do with getting the queens off the board, actually, now. We've got a decent position. If we can get the queen off, we should be doing okay. Oh, now that gives me bishop back. Threatening checkmate. If you block, we can grab another pawn. So just the very natural bishop back gives us a tempo attacking there, I think. Queen back, I'd be very happy just to trade, get the queen off the board. We've gained a valuable pawn. We've got a better pawn structure. So the queen's gone across. So what do we do now? I like queen over to guard this bishop move. Pawn down might be an idea as well. So I like the simple queen over. We're also pressuring this. So what if we play a rook across? Then if you play a bishop down, I can simply push, right? But you do have this annoying pawn push coming. Can't really stop it, actually. So what about queen up threatening to grab another pawn? Bishop down, we can come back. Yeah, I like that. I'm going here. So if bishop down, I've got queen back. I mean, I could play bishop over, but I don't want to push this pawn and give up an exchange. So I'd rather move the rook first. That's what he's gone for. So I thought I could just drop back here now. But can I? I'm going to do it because we guard the pawn, we hit the bishop. If you go here, I just simply come across. Okay, I think I just shuffle here. If you come down, I can just push a pawn and we're going to be able to force the queen off the board. So we're threatening the simple h3. And then once we can get the queen off, we can try and activate our rook. Just hopefully not blunder the back rank. It does happen. Okay. So attacks our bishop, so are we okay to simply grab a pawn there? I think we are. Rook across, we can just simply come back. King looks stable. I think I can take that, so I'm going to take it and come back to c4, I think. Then I'm going to look to play h3 and force a queen off, even if I lose the a2 pawn, not the end of the world. Just got a protected pawn here. h3 should force the queen off. And then we can try and activate the rook looking for dark squares. And it should be good. It doesn't mean it is, but it should be at least as a principle. Oh, well that allows me to take and then take the bishop and then get behind the pawn. That has to be good. Let's just take. I'll take. Now simply get behind our pawn. Black's going to have to get the rook back and go defensive. Oh, we've got a very fast pawn. I just want to run the pawn at a steady pace. Rather than advancing it too far, I want my king to be potentially capable of coming across. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to push. So what do I want to do? Here, here, here. Eventually the king will come across and collect. It's whether we can come in this way. I'm going to go here and fix this pawn. I'm going to try and bring my king this way, I think. Try and bring our king up and then just use this pawn as a distraction. That's my idea anyhow. I can start pushing this pawn now. You'll have to block. And eventually if you take, we're just going to march forward. That's right. So now the pawn's as far as we can put it. If you try and take though, our king simply comes in and collects. And that should be straightforward. Okay, so it goes across. So let's play a holding move. Black's going to run out of moves. If the rook moves, we just simply push the pawn. Here we simply take. Here we take. King moves, we come in. And if the king goes back, we just shuffle the rook again. So it should be comfortable, but it doesn't mean you can't mess anything up, of course. Yeah, it moves. So now we just push the pawn on. Now we're evening threatening a check. So now king up. Be very, very good for us indeed if we could trade here. Now we just collect. So if I take and you come across either, I can come back and definitely collect. So that's the right pawn. And we can collect them all and we're bound to keep at least some of ours. So that's actually a pretty good game. So let's see how the engine says we actually played it. We've made 47 moves. So they're the move times for both players. Let's put it through the analysis. 
It took a long time to do this yesterday. I had to come back later on, so hopefully it'll go smoothly. It started nice and quick. Normally does. Let's just see how we actually played it. It felt like a comfortable-ish game once we'd gotten out of the opening. So obviously it starts at the end and works its way back. Oh, there's a little bit at the very start of the game there, as you can see. It looks like we've played it pretty well, but we've made a mistake here because we've lost a bit of an advantage. So a few mistakes in there, but not to worry. Yeah, we played it both pretty well. 94% versus 90% accuracy, 18 to 32 CPL. And no bad blunders either player, it's just one of them games where we've gained an advantage out of the opening. Just a very slow, steady advantage out of the opening here. So c5, and what have we done? We've just started to build a very slow, steady advantage, like getting tempo, attacking the queen. And we're just half a point better here. Then it goes to a plus one there. So was it correct to jump across here and then trade as we did? Knight a4 is good. So knight c5 and taking on f6 are both equal moves there. Yeah, so it was correct to trade. So we just built a gradual steady advantage here. Now I should have played the queen up immediately it looks like there, but there's not too much in the evals. Or developed the rook straight away. So that's a slight inaccuracy. But we're still plus two better already by this point. We've just played it reasonably well. We've made a slight mistake here and... Lost a bit of the advantage, but then it comes back. So instead of rook c4, we could have considered pushing either of these pawns to really attack early. We didn't do that, so that's something to learn from. But otherwise, it's been a steady game, but decent effort by my opponent as well. So well done.